Welcome back to day two of our architecture unit. Um, make sure you're recording your time, of course, in your art journal, just as a quick reminder. Um, so let's first just explore some non-traditional and unique architectural buildings and structures. Once again, we're kind of in that brainstorming, getting ideas flowing kind of mode. So let's get inspired by checking these out. We see buildings all the time, right? <laughs> we live in one. We see them every time we go outside and drive around and there's just buildings everywhere, whether it's um, some kind of a shopping building or a building people live in. Maybe it's a building where one family lives or a building where multiple families live. There's all kinds of buildings surrounding us. So we feel like we have a really good idea of what a building is. But is that all a building can be? That is the question. Wait, no, I think there was something else that was the question. To be or not to be? Oh yeah, that was the question. Well, either way, let's talk about the architectural question. <laughs> so, some of the world's most interesting buildings, and spoiler alert, one of them is right in Wisconsin. All right, <laughs> check this out. I know you're like, that's a basket in a field. Or is it? Because it's actually, so the Longaberger company is a basket company and their headquarters, brilliant, I love this, looks like a basket. Looks like one of the, if you look, like you can see all those like um, kind of bluish, and dark spaces those are windows for the office building yeah look how cool is that down at the bottom you can see like right in the middle that like dark rectangle that's the entryway like love this great idea okay milwaukee if you've ever been to the art museum in milwaukee you maybe recognize this it is such a cool building i love this building i've been to it many times outside and inside just really really cool and every angle you look at it it looks a little bit different um but like once again this is not our concept of what a traditional building looks like so let's expand let's expand those possibilities so this is cool this is singapore stunning digital cloud skyscraper so the inspiration was let's make a digital cloud so you can see it's made out of a glass Right? So that's going to be the illusion of cloud-like. Um, and then obviously the, the glass is still like uh, rectangular. Um, so that gives it that digital kind of pixelated idea to it. Um, and just for perspective, can you see, let's see, is my mouth showing up? Yeah, like that's a person. So it gives you an idea of how big this is. Pretty cool. All right. Um, here's another one that looks really cool, kind of has that cloud feel to it too, right? With that dipping and swooping and all that stuff, it even casts a shadow onto itself as well. And just once again, just very organic feeling, not the typical mm -mm that a typical building looks like and feels like. Um, so once again, just expanding that idea of what can be a building. Okay, um, here's another really cool one. I love how this one, like look at how it kind of curves around itself. Just really beautiful. It almost looks like a trophy to me, honestly. And I mean, it is. To the architect, uh, architect who made this building, this is like a trophy. Congratulations, you won. This is amazing. It's so beautiful. And I love how it reflects the sky and the water around it. Just giving this gorgeous kind of green blue tone to it um so super beautiful check this one out actually i'm really bummed about this i was in prague not you know forever ago um and i didn't see this oh, i'm so bummed um so this is called the dancing house and doesn't it look like it, it looks like it's just like la, 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 la. <laughs> looks like it could be a character from beauty and the beast or something um, yeah, just really cool, you know, different angles than what we are used to, um, and super fun. All right, this one, mm, once again, just so cool. So this one's in China, um, 
And I love the fact that not only is the building really cool, it's an opera house, by the way, um, but the fact that they put it right next to the water. And because of it, that reflection makes it almost look like a full moon or even kind of a bit like yin and yang, right? You've got that kind of like divider in the middle. Not exactly, but it's just really like every detail was thought out. And I love that. All right, here's another one in, in China. Um, this one, I don't know, I might be a little afraid to walk into because it looks like it's like half floating, half leaning, and maybe about to fall over. But obviously, it's secure, right? Like, the, it was designed to be this way. Um, all the math was mathed out, hopefully correctly, to make sure that it's all stable. But just a really cool design. Um, this is a bank. I don't know about you guys, my bank does not look like this. This almost looks like a spaceship meets dominoes meets, I don't know what else, an escalator? I don't know, but it's cool. Either way, I would love to go to my bank if it looked like, well, I still like my bank. The people there are lovely, but it would be even cooler if it looked like this. So fun, right? All right. Uh, here's, you've maybe seen pictures of these before, very famous um, towers in Dubai. Um, and once again, just that kind of spiral angle feeling to it. I can tell you I would not want it to be a bird that falls down, though. Yikes, those look very sharp and very scary from that perspective. Um, but you can see, like, once again, like, look at how these are the trees down here. These things are huge, gigantic, and just complete works of art. Um, this is a museum in Chile, and once again, for perspective, you can see my mouse. That's a person standing right there. So, like, this is big, right? This is a, a large tower. Um, and very cool, different than what we're used to. And I also love, do you notice how it's like in the architecture itself, it's like carved out those kind of sphere shapes. Um, but then on the ground, do you see how it's mounded up? It's almost like as if they fell out onto the ground, which I think is extra cool. Once again, it's the attention to detail that makes it cool. <laughs> like this one, the strawberry building, so appropriately named in Brazil and like how adorable is this like I just want to get out I don't know like a tea set and have some crumpets I don't even actually know what a crumpet is but it sounds like just a cute little picnic with tea and this little strawberry building and I would love that little checked um, picnic blanket sounds dreamy so cute though right like I want to see the inside of this I think that'd be fun I want to see the inside of all of them, actually. I've got some traveling to do. Like this one. Anyone into Rub Rubik's Cube? Because this one in Hungary was designed after a Rubik's Cube. Once again, <laughs> I'm thinking, like, how when you're inside of it, how are you not, like, falling over? But obviously, all these things have been thought out by the architect. Um, and once again, you can see the little, this is the door down here. So you can get an idea of the scale of this and how big it is. This one, this one looks like a 3D printer, like just mal malfunctioned overnight, I don't know, <laughs> but it's so cool. Like this is definitely, I would say, more so a work of art than it is anything else. This is the Sci-Fi Tower, um, it's a skyscraper in LA, so if you ever get over in that direction, check that out because this is wild. Like my brain cannot comprehend how this is actually a building. But it is, and I, it's on my bucket list now. <laughs> um, these are the Taiwan Towers in Taiwan. Um, and I love how they've incorporated um, elements of earth into it. So those are plants growing on it as well. And they were, it was designed to incorporate those plants on it. This is one, just like how tall and thin they are, I would be petrified to go in it. I feel like it would be swaying or something, but... Once again, these architects, they use their math. They know what they're doing, making cool designs like this one, the Crescent Moon Tower in Dubai. Dubai has some really cool architecture, by the way. Um, yeah, I love everything about this one. And once again, just check out the, the trees in the foreground. will help give you an idea of just how big it is. Teapot shape, <laughs> teapot shape museum in China. Cute, right? That's adorable. And I love the red against the green background, those complementary colors. So fun. 
binoculars building in LA. Actually shaped like binoculars. Super cute, quirky, love it. Um, this was the Aquadome in Berlin, Berlin, Germany. Um, and just, yeah, really cool. You can see people down here to get an idea of um, how big that is. And then here's just a couple other. I love the reflective pool on this one. But just some really cool buildings. And once again, I want you to just expand your idea of what architecture can be before we begin what we're up to next. So go ahead and take out these supplies, piece of paper, pencil, optional would be a ruler as well. Um, and what we're gonna do is we are going to start designing our own houses, um, 2D. We're gonna not even touch the 3D aspect quite yet. We'll save that for a later class. For right now, just 2D. We're not worried about landscape. We're not worried about um, like embellishing it with like shingles and um, siding and shutters. I guess you could do shutters, but for the most part, we're keeping it kind of basic for right now. Um, so you can find some ideas linked in our slides. And ideally, I'm hoping that your this 2D house that you're creating here has more than one section to it. So you can see how these have like multiple um, things. Maybe it's a garage and the home or there's multiple parts of the home. Um, so what I would love for you guys to do, get out your paper and ruler and pencil. Um, and you can turn your paper whatever way. If you want it to be taller, turn it up and down, wider, turn it landscape, um, and just kind of get creative. I am going to not use traditional lines. I'm going to have mine be almost susical looking, where it's going to have some unevenness to it. And once again, I'm only focusing on 2D, not 3D. So maybe something like that. I'm not going to use the ruler for everything though because I want some arches in here. So I'm going to do an arch door like that. Maybe some cool windows like this. I'm going to have multiple layers to my home that I'm creating here. That window is bigger than the other one. That's okay. For right now, I'm just designing. I'm drawing things out. You can take more time than this. Obviously, I don't want this demo lasting for eternity here. But maybe the next one, the next layer kind of comes up like this. I'm not going to give it all away. I'm going to just show you part of it. But you can get an idea of where I'm going here with this. I'm going to kind of stack some out here too. Maybe there's a little portion, a little addition that they created came off to the side here and oops put a roof coming out there put a window in here as well okay anyway it's your turn <laughs> go ahead and start designing a 2d home we're not worried about 3d yet 2d home have fun can't wait to see it before next class